in the NFL, yep. as, you, as you well know. Uh, when did you get the news that you are going to be starting, and how does that change? Uh, maybe not necessarily your preparation, but kind of your mindset. Yeah, I was just, you know, told recently, but I, it really doesn't change, honestly. Just trying to prepare each day like I have been the starter, and I'm um, just trying to do my best to put myself in a good position. So I'm um, just going to keep trying to do that. You bar on the experience of last year getting the same news? For sure. Yeah, for sure. It is it is uh, somewhat similar, obviously different in a lot of scenarios, but um, yeah, similar to last year coming in kind of in the middle of the year and um, you're definitely happy for the experience last year to kind of build off that. Your AP praised you for the way uh, I guess you responded when he told you he wanted you to be the backup and run the scout team. What was your mentality going into that and how do you think it's helped you grow? Yeah, I think um, obviously disappointed in, in that decision uh, when it happened, but I think <clears throat> honestly on the scout team, you can get a lot of great reps. You're going against the one defense every day and so I try to use um, every day on the scout team to uh, try to better myself, try to challenge myself, um, and uh, as well as the guys around me. And so, um, yeah, really any chance I get to try to get better on the practice field, I'm, I'm going to do my best to do that. And how much do you feel you've improved, and what do you think you've done to earn the starting role? Yeah, I think, um, you know, like we said, the NFL moves fast, and so trying to rapidly improve every day, really, um, trying to, you know, I think obviously with a new system, um, trying to each week, uh, try to master that and what, what our game plan is for the week, for the defense we're playing. Um, and so just trying to make quick decisions, get the ball in my hands to our playmakers and um, really just do my job. And, and that's really my job is to uh, get the ball to our, our guys on the edge, our, our running backs, and um, just let them do what they do. Coach said that you've been more vocal this year and that you really have your presence as a leader. What would you say to your communication with the guys and how you've really worked to improve that? Yeah, it's it's just... You know, tough being a rookie last year, I felt, um, you know, not always comfortable to speak up. I didn't uh, really have a relationship with the guys in a lot of ways. And so now that um, not only are my teammates, I know them better, but they're a lot of them my friends now and um, getting to know them better. And uh, like I said, having that relationship allows me, I think, to be more vocal um, and to encourage guys and, you know, in every way by my actions, by my words and try my best to encourage uh, my teammates. Obviously, the, the Raiders have made a quarterback change right now. That doesn't mean that they won't make another quarterback change down the road. And I, I guess what I'm trying to ask is, how do you kind of separate that in your, in your head of just trying to go out there and play, but not yeah. put too much pressure on you yourself to keep the job? Yeah, I, I, I definitely know that the job is fluid. Um, and so uh, just trying to do my best really every day. Um, today, I'm focusing on today, man. Not really thinking about any days in the future. I got to work on what we're working on today, try to get better and uh, take each day that way. And, you know, it's hard to do. You, your brain wants to go backwards. It wants to go forwards. But um, I think just, you know, focusing on the task at hand is, is the best thing I can do. Knowing that competition is always there, does it kind of motivate you to stay fo even more focused and just bring out the best of you every day? Yeah, I think, you know, I, I was going to do that anyway. Um, you know, just naturally want to make sure I'm doing my job, make sure I'm doing everything I need to do to prepare uh, to get ready to play. Um, but yeah, we, we have a great room of, of QBs and um, you know great guys around me. So I'm uh, just looking forward to the opportunity. Has Gardner responded to in supporting you with this decision? Yeah, he, he um, vocal about it. And he's, he's been supportive of me you know, since the competition started. He, when he first signed here, he texted me. And so he's been, from, from day one, um, a huge supporter of mine, and that's that's what he said. He's like, I'm I'm behind you all the way, and um, he's a captain of our team, and so uh, the guys are are still looking for him for leadership. Hey, Dave, what do you think? Um, would you say anything in your game is better in year two than year one? Yeah, I think just understanding uh, the game more. I think there's things I was naive to last year, um, things I I really didn't know that I think most people knew, and so um, as a rookie, you're just you're just behind the eight ball. You're trying to steal time any way you can, and so um, I think having the off season. Um, and now going into the second year, yeah, definitely just feel comfortable being in an organization, what it means day to day, uh, what it looks like to, you know, try to get the job done. In some ways, has being uh, behind Gardner helped you to really absorb Luke Getze's offense, kind of watching from a different angle and different mindset than it would have been if you had picked it up right away? Yeah, I, I definitely learned a lot from Gardner. Um, obviously, a guy who's been in the league now for, for six years and um, a, a few different places and different systems. And so he's seen a lot of the plays that we're running uh, more than I have and um, kind of hear, you know, pick his brain about what he feels on each play, what he sees. And um, he's been super open in communication with me. And, you know, our, our relationship has grown throughout the year. And so, yeah, I'm going to rely on Gardner for, um, you know, just his, his tips and what he's seeing as well. How do you feel now with the reads and the offense? Yeah, a lot better. Yeah, it's it's like I said, it's just it's a it's a huge step from your rookie year. Rookie year is hard and in, in all facets, and so um, yeah, the the step forward has been has been great. 
You look forward to that start against the Steelers. You know, what are some things that you feel like you need to do well against that type of defense to really succeed on Sunday? Yeah, obviously they're a great defense, um, great team. They've had same head coach for a long time, and so um, offensively we're going to have to, you know, take what they give us. Um, make sure I'm, I'm being smart with the ball and um, just trying to put our guys in the best position to, to execute um, and just have positive plays. I think that's going to be a big thing: is be consistent, and have positive plays. That's good. Yep. Thank you, guys. Thank you.